Welcome to Sahara Reporters. My name is, I mean, welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Adiola Fayon. And this is our Inspire segment. And today to inspire us, we have a, a Nigerian-American model in person of Linda Igbinigi. Linda is a Nigerian model living in the U.S. She has worked with David's Bridal, Ignite Your Style, Maze Couture, and other modeling companies. She's also a graphics designer, and she has designed several materials, including movie covers for Nollywood producers. She's a poet, hmm, a motivational speaker, and she has been interviewed on AM Express in Nigeria. Linda is also athletic. On her free time, she plays volleyball and basketball. Linda, welcome to Sahara TV. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's so nice Hello. to have you. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. <laughs> All right, it's so nice to have you, Linda. Thanks. Thank you. And I'm just going to, you know, start by asking that, um, what's the fashion industry like for young Africans in the U.S.? The fashion industry can be very brutal, especially for young Africans, because um, we're of the darker persuasion. And in some modeling categories, um, that's not always widely accepted. <laughs> but um, I think as you know, society is becoming more diverse, it's becoming a better market for our Africans. So there are some pressures. Can you mention some of the pressures? I, I, do you ever feel pressure to change your skin color or something? Yes, there are those pressures. Change skin color, change body shape. Um, uh, also morals, you know, wear clothing that maybe they feel suit you uh, or what they know a, someone of dark skin persuasion should wear. So there, there are lots of pressures out there, most definitely. You actually didn't study, um, you, you, I mean, how did you get into modeling? Because you studied graphic designs in school, right? Yes, yes. Um, I've always been tall. Uh, how tall are you? Six, two and a half. <laughs> Wait, how, how tall? Six foot two inches. Oh, okay, six, two and a half. Wow, yeah. you are tall. Six, two and a half. <laughs> so you modeling started from the fact that you were tall. It came from being tall. Yes, yes. Yeah. Growing up, I was the geek, so I couldn't see the modeling vision at the time, but I had a lot of mentors and family members who encouraged me to possibly pursue modeling um, as I got older. So I started to do pageants and from there went into modeling. I see. But you don't just do modeling, you do all that things. Can you tell us? Yes. Can you yes. tell us what else you do? Um, for example, I do... Graphic design, um, sorry, excuse me, <laughs> graphics, motivational speaking, poetry. Wow. Um, I mean, so many things. I mean, we'll be here forever. <laughs> okay, I hope, so you're, many things, so I hope many. you have a poem ready for us at the end of this that, you know, that you can um, tell us about. So... You made, made mention that sometimes you feel pressure to change the color of your skin or lose weight and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Would you ever alter your body in order to be a successful model? I actually don't. Um, my philosophy is this. Uh, if they like me, then they're going to like me. <laughs> so um, I, I never really feel that pressure to alter my body. Uh, it's wow. it's always been a situation. If God has that job for me, then it's mine regardless. So I don't. I do uh, want to definitely stay healthy, but not go to extremes to fit uh, someone else's box. I want mm -hmm. to present me in everything that I do. So I try not to go through extreme measures to alter who I am, because at the end of the day, they wouldn't get me. <laughs> so. Pretty much, that's my but philosophy. Doesn't that uh, alter how far you can go in the industry? 
I'm sorry, say that question again. Does that affect how far you can go in the industry? Because I also know that you don't model in bikinis. How how can you be a model yeah. and not get in bikinis? I mean, what's up with that? Well, um, I definitely am not your typical model. Uh, okay. Uh, there are just some things I won't do just because of the standards that I have. Um, uh, there are some clothing that I feel is too revealing. Um, I look at bikini modeling the same as lingerie. So I don't do lingerie and I don't do bikinis um, because of the morals that I have. I don't believe that they align with it. So I try to steer away from that. And it has come to bite me several times, especially uh, in this industry, because that's what they're looking for. They're not looking to know about your moral standing or anything. They want you to fulfill a role. And if you can't, you will lose jobs. So I have, but I've lost jobs, but I haven't lost who I am. So wow. I, yeah, I like that statement. Brutal, you lost it's, jobs, it's, but you didn't lose who you are. Right. Okay. Um, so does that have to do with your Christian beliefs? Because I noticed that you're a very strong Christian. And also, how do you maintain being a strong Christian and being a model at the same time? Do people ever question you that, um, you know, you, you understand what I mean? Yes, totally. Um, a lot of people do have questions and they're like, okay, so how can you you know, go in this industry, which is not really known for Christian values and still claim to be, you know, a professing Christian. But to me, um, I, I, I'm a firm believer that wherever there's darkness, there should be light. And my goal is to be light where there is darkness. Just because I'm a model doesn't mean I have to do, I guess, what the world standard of a model does. I can still be a model, but with difference. And I think if enough women out there who have uh, similar, uh, who uphold similar values to the ones that I have, if we came in stronger numbers uh, and got in the industry in as far as the hiring perspective, we would really, really um, make a difference because Yes, there is, of course, uh, those out there who want the model to be a certain way, but there are a lot of models out there who don't want to, um, don't want to uh, um, lower their standards. Let, let me yeah, interrupt so. you, Linda. Are you saying that uh, models who wear bikinis and stuff, are you saying they can't keep their uh, religious beliefs? Oh, no, by all means, no. Not everybody's convictions are the same concerning that. But for me personally, that's something I've always wanted to say for my husband. So I want to stick to that. Um, wait, wait, wait. That's something things, you wanted to... I guess, huh? You wanted to say for who? My husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that brings me Future. to a very important question. Are you engaged? Are you single? Are you available? Because, you know, people want to know. Okay. Well, currently I am single. Okay. All um, the guys, hope y'all heard that. She is single. Go on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. And you're available, right? Yes. What? Well, um. But he has to be really tall. I mean, if you're six two, he, preferably. <laughs> preferably, he has to be tall, preferably. and he has to be a Christian man. I mean, from listening to all that you've been saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say that last one again. Do, does he have to be a Christian, or you know? Oh boy, yes, <laughs> he does. Oh, you just eliminated a lot of possible candidates, my dear. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, quickly, let me ask you, you are also athletic, like you also play sports. Yes. Okay. And now this is just something you do for hobby. It's not something you do full time. Yes. You played basketball yeah, and volleyball. You would play basketball considering your height. Um, so Linda, I just wanted to inspire us quickly. Have you been through any tough times that you came out of? I mean, from doing your modeling job and all that. So if, 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 maybe there's someone listening and they have the 
dream to become a model or anything and uh, they just feel like maybe it's not happening. Can you inspire us quickly? Most definitely. Um, for me, summing up all of my life experiences, both inside and outside the modeling industry, this poem uh, that the Lord put on my spirit a couple of years back uh, really has got me through that tough time. And if you have enough time, I'd like to share it with you. Okay, we have one more minute. I hope it encourages. We have one more it. minute, so let's hear it. Okay. The poem is entitled The Light. As I walk through the fog of fear and doubt, I see not where I'm going. But through the fog, there is a light that is forever showing. I tell the light of my fears, and it begins to shine brighter. It ignores my fears, increases my faith, and elevates me higher. Why it beckons me near, I do not understand. It draws me near with gentle love, as if it has a plan. My footsteps seem to stumble, but yet I do not fall. I see only the fog and the light, but yet the light sees all. The magnitude of the light, I cannot comprehend. Fear and doubt tried to block it, and yet could not contend. When I finally got to the light, he told me, look down and do not blink. And to my amazement, my journey had been on water, and yet I did not sink. Wow, Linda, that was beautiful. You wrote that, right? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Linda, how can people reach you, either for modeling jobs or um, graphic design or anything? Um, best way to reach me is on my website, www.loigraphics.com. Loigraphics.com. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Linda. It's so nice to have you on our show, and you look pretty. Thank you so much. You're so All sweet. Right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right, viewers, stay tuned. We have more programs coming up.